So here to solve the Sudoku puzzle I wrote called clones. It's got these repeated clue groups. This group is the same as the one in the lower right, and these corner squares with 3, 6, 7, and 1 are also the same. A few things in the geometry of the puzzle with this is a repeated column. 4, 5, 7, and 9 are, are missing in these columns, but there's actually just a single space for a 7 left in this pretty full column on both sides. Actually, all the 7s come in quickly as a consequence. We've got 4, 5, 9 left to go here, and we actually have two 5s already given, so the 5 is there. The 9 has to be up top because of this 9 over on the bottom. 4 in here. 2 and 8 complete this box. 2 to the left, 8 to the right. 8 in one of these cells, but you don't know for sure which one yet. The 2 does go here. Looking to the lower right, we have 1, 3, 4, 9 to place. And the 3 has a unique spot just based off digits around it. The 4 has a unique spot. 9 now has to be here, 1 has to be here, 1 has to be here to finish this out. We've got 3 and 4 in these cells, and the 4 is on the right, so we're making good progress here. Let's focus now on the digit 3, uh, which we've placed a few of, and at the start of the puzzle, if we'd actually looked in these columns, we would see that there are two 3s, and the last 3 has to go here, which puts a 3 then in the center, puts a 3 here, that completes the 3s. We've got this row that's got four, six, eight to go in it, and the four has to be in the spot. Puts another four in here, puts a four in here, puts a four in here. So good progress from that. Six, eight over on the side. Six is gonna have to be in the cell and the eight there based off the six above. We've got a two and eight to place and they're both in these cells. It's actually the same pattern as over here, two, eight, two, eight, but eight is already on the right. So this is the eight, there's the two, gives another two. 5, 9 finishes out, 5 is above, 9 is down below, last space for a 1, puts another 1, puts another 1, we need 5 and 6 to finish this out. That comes over here where we need a 5 and a 9, we now need a 9 and 6 up top, and the 9 is already down here. Puts an 8 on the bottom, we need an 8 and a 6. This 8 needs another 8 here, this 6 needs a 6 in this middle column, and that's the one we can place first. The remaining digits, we need a 2 up top, uh, we need a 9 up top. That puts in a 9 here and an 8 here, puts in an 8 and the last digit 5, and we finish the grid. So some interesting facts just based off it being a clone set of clues, particularly the 4, 5, 7, 9 groups, the two eights are split across. It really just went through basic singles around the grid. So if you're good at tracking digits and making progress, you probably made a quick work of this puzzle. I hope you enjoyed the visual theme and the challenge within, and we'll see you again soon.